the Nigerian e-commerce industry is facing challenging times due to a number of issues. I caught up with an e-commerce startup founder who has been in the game for over a decade. Our tech tips on how to uninstall some system apps that come pre-installed with your Android phone. Let's kick off the show with some tech news and updates. This is Tech Trend, and I'm Chukemeka Agbata. Introducing kids to technology has many benefits, setting them up with skills for life. Technology and IT skills are now more important than ever, and basic computer skills are seen as a bare necessity within the working environment. In a report from Burning Glass, a job market analytics firm, there were over 7 million job openings in 2015 in occupations that required coding skills. They also found that the programming jobs overall are growing 12% faster than the market average. Computer programmers are currently in short supply and has become a core skill that bolsters a candidate's chances of commanding a high salary because there are few opportunities to try programming at an early age. Your child will not be globally competitive without ICT knowledge, without programming knowledge and you know, other kids their age, they're learning programming from school from you know, they're, when they're three years old. So if you want your children to be globally competitive then you, know, you need to make sure that you invest that a little bit extra to make sure that they actually gain the knowledge and that, you know, that interest is sparked. Having recognized the peculiarity of this skill set and no inclusion of programming to primary and secondary school curriculums in Nigeria, technology companies like Innovation Hub, TechQuest and many others are seeing reasons to complement after-school learning with introduction to computer programming in the area of web design and development, animation and game design for children within the age 6 to 17. You see that the, the classrooms are changing. They, they've gone from interactive whiteboards, they're looking at interactive screens now. So I think the more technology there is in the classroom, the more you would have children have access to things like Scratch and, and Raspberry Pi and all of that. And the beautiful thing about this is children play. So if you give it to them, at some point they're going to start playing. If they play and they like it, then you know it's something that will just become a culture with them. So I guess the challenge for us as parents, as the government, as whoever, is to make sure that they have access to technology all of the time that they can play with. Incorporating design, mechanics, electronics and programming into one is what Sonari Kukubo has achieved in building this helper robot. This is a helper robot and there are various robots for different fields such as medical robots, um, and other helper robots. A medical robot now is normally programmed for helping patients, giving them medication, and some even can go into surgery. And helper robots such as this help people at home to do their daily duties if they are sick, paralyzed, or old. Such as this, this is a grabber, this is a gripper. So it helps to pick up objects in the program. There is a motor in the middle of it that moves the gears. As the years move, this comes up and picks up an object and carries it. So a practical illustration right now is with the click of a button. Now, you are wondering how it was able to give me, how we knew that I was here and didn't fall off and how we knew that I was there. Here is an ultrasonic sensor which tells the head that there is an object. It states that this is here, so it either picks it up or it goes to our side. And I programmed it that when it senses this, it should pick it up and it should see my hand and stop and give it to me. Another fun way of introducing children to programming and coding is using a small credit card sized mini computer called Raspberry Pi to carry out creative science projects such as this. All these are the different pins. Then to make your, um, to make the bulb light, you must first connect all these um, wires here, they're called the jumpers. You must first connect your jumper to a ground. This is a traffic light, for example. Somebody here, it stops for 10. The red light comes on for 10 seconds. The red light comes on for 10 seconds. The yellow light stops for 3 seconds, meaning it gets ready. And when the green light goes, the person that is there can walk across the road or the cars can move straight. Some parents believe that programs like this will help teach kids about physics computer science and maths in an inspiring environment. Interesting to see that they are learning some of the things that they are already used to, watching TV, 
now they are beginning to learn the building blocks you know uh, sometimes they talk about power rangers how do they create some of those games so it's interesting that they are uh, uh, being taught the basics how to uh, build some of those games and they, are, they can see how those things are reflecting in real life um i'm uh, you know i'm an, an it enthusiast and i want them to learn early uh, because we know that it is the future okay and um, we, are, we know that already currently we don't have some of these things built into the curriculum of schools and because of that we want them to learn during the summer instead of just playing watching tv every day but we want them to develop that critical mind that creative mind for them to ask questions how do we develop some of these things it and technology it's now compulsory i don't think it should be optional anymore there's no field today that doesn't have any bit of it in it which is necessary for everybody um, every parent should let their kids go through a program like this it's been very very good for my son i mean he was a bit weary about having classes from nine to four every day but by the third day i think he he was into it, he wasn't asking me to pick him up early anymore, so I think it's a really good way for the kids. The Bureau of Labor Statistics projects that employment specifically for computer programmers will decline 8% to 302,200 positions over the next decade as businesses outsource projects to less expensive contract workers overseas. With moms and dads often struggling to reduce screen time for their kids who love playing computer games, their interest for collection of apps on your smartphone may not be one to discourage.